guys, so I just got done filming today's video and realized when I was done and walked out into the kitchen that I totally did not share mail I received. So I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video because I don't want it to get overlooked. So, uh, first I received um, a package from Barbara. She sent me this cute Christmas card inside and inside she wrote, I found these Christmas ornaments at our local store called Beals. I thought you would like them. So this is what she sent and yes, I don't like them, I love them. Okay, so here's the first ornament. Isn't that adorable? I think I have one kinda like this, but I think this one's different. And I have them all packed up now so I can't compare. And I keep telling myself every year I need to take a picture of all my ornaments so I know what I have and I never do it. <laughs> I never do it. But I think this one's a little bit different. It's so cute, thank you. And then she also sent this one here. Yes, this Christmas ornament. Isn't it adorable? I love this, I do not have this one. I know for sure I do not have this one. This one will have to hang up kind of high in the tree because the boys might think it's a toy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Barbara. I love them both. Thank you. And then I got a card from Alyssa. And she said she sent me one previously, but I never got it. But the mail's been crazy. I just found out from, um, is it Londa, who won our Christmas giveaway? She just got the package yesterday. So, and it was supposed to be there over a week and a half ago. So thankfully she got um, the giveaway package I sent her. So I'm glad she, you let me know. Um, so I got your card now, Alyssa. And she also sent um, a couple homemade kitty toys with catnip in them. And they're gonna love these strings on it. And they've got catnip inside of them. There's a big one and then a small one. They will love them. And she sent me her card. So if anybody's interested, and then checking out, I think it has her, has her email on this side. And then, yes, Facebook on the back. So if you guys want to check that out. Thank you, Alyssa. Appreciate it. And the kitties will appreciate this too. Um, and then I got a card and a gift from, it says A-L and Merck. A comma L comma and Merck. Um, it says, Merry Christmas, Kim. Hoping you and your family, uh, both two and four-legged, have an amazing and wonderful holiday season. Thank you for sharing your boys with us. You are truly one of the warmest and loving person we've met. Oh, thank you. And then up here it says, read what that says. P.S. Not to give it away, I didn't get you a puppy. Ha. <laughs> oh, and she sent me this cool calendar. It says mom's manager, but she had on the plastic wrap, put this, she had put this little sticker and at the top it said, Schnauzer mom's manager. <laughs> and on, on another sticker it says, um, room for each pup to have their own row or double the boys up and have room for Kitten and Merlin. Uh, Schnauzer mom and Schnauzer dad to keep track of y'all in one place. <laughs> And in the inside, oh, she also sent pictures. Uh, Merck in his snowsuit and walkie paws, ready to go play after the storm. So cute. Yes, Magnum is barking again. And then this one says, when someone comments on how you groom your boys and don't leave their schnauzer skirt, just show them this picture and say, at least I don't give them mohawks. It was his lockdown due this summer. <laughs> I've seen so many pictures of people giving their dogs mohawks, their schnauzers. <laughs> so funny. And then in the calendar, oh my goodness. You will see in the rest of the video after this, the dogs have been barking all morning. Okay, so this is the calendar. Can you guys tell? You can write the names of each person here in your family. In my case, it'll be the boys because if you guys have ever seen my calendar on the fridge, I seem to have vet appointments. I have vet appointments every month, so I can write each of their name and then put the times or what's going on with them and on the side here under the numbers. Isn't that so cool? This is great too for somebody that has a ton of kids and needs to keep track of what's going on with them. So I thank you so, so much. And thank you for the photos. 
thank all of you for uh, uh, thinking of us and sending us mail. Um, I really appreciate it. So this month I have, Max has to go to get some vaccinations and his heartworm test. And I think that's the only vet appointment I have going on this month, which I can't believe. <laughs> I have an appointment this month. Um, I have to go to the doctor. So yeah, only one vet appointment. Let's keep our fingers crossed. No other vet appointments this month. Let's pray. Okay, on with the rest of the video that I already filmed. So you guys have a great day. Hi everyone. What are you boys doing? <laughs> They're running around, I think, chasing the cat out there. Were you chasing the kitty? Were you chasing the kitty? Were you? Oh, geez, no. I don't need your tongue in my mouth. No. <laughs> my dogs are a bunch of French kissers. Yes, they are. Oh, no. I don't need that. Okay, go on. Oh, I thought I'd check in today. Um, I'm sitting here on my recliner in my PJs with an ice pack on my foot. Um... If you watched one of my last videos, uh, yeah, they're chasing a the kitty. <laughs> um, one of my last uh, videos, I said I thought I had uh, plantar fasciitis. And I'm pretty sure I do. I have not gone to the doctor. I don't know what he's barking at. Oh, there's a squirrel. I don't know how he got past that squirrel. See the see right here? I have a thing that's supposed to block the squirrels from getting up there. But obviously he figured it out. Yeah, oh well, I guess they gotta eat too, right? Um, yep, they're chasing the kitty. <laughs> They've been going round and round in circles chasing the kitty. So yes, um, I've got an ice pack on my foot because they say to do that for inflammation. Um, when you have this going on and it's my fault, it's gotten so much worse. I mean, I could barely walk, uh, yesterday, the day before <laughs> it's my fault because when my niece was here, um, yes, you're bringing me a toy. Oh, thanks. <sighs> okay. Let me see it and I'll throw it. Um, when our niece was here, we went to Frankenmuth walking around. We went shopping a couple days, so I was on my foot. I have um, inserts for my shoes. I have a um, uh, brace here. I have this ball to rub my foot on. I have this tape here to tape my foot. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have been on my feet, but... <laughs> What's going on? It's WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania going on. <laughs> Max, are you riling him up? <laughs> Magnum, what was that? Yeah, so. <laughs> Crazy town in here. <laughs> they weren't doing this before I turned on the camera. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Okay, I think they're they're gonna bark again. I apologize, guys. And it's my fault. I like to have the bird feeders out. I like to watch the birds. I like to watch the squirrels too. And a lot of people say, don't the barking get to you? Yeah, it does sometimes. Um, I've tried um, things to keep them from barking so much. But you know what? I have seven dogs. <laughs> they're going to bark. That's just the way it is. <laughs> and they're schnauzers. So they're really going to bark. Kitty's playing with the toy. And Magnum just can't help himself. He's the worst at it. He's the one that gets everybody else barking. Yeah, so there's another one. There's one right there. And then that one is <laughs> my birth feeder. So, yeah. So now I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, my foot. Yes. We walked and walked and walked, and I shouldn't have. But I didn't want to miss out on doing things with our niece. So I 
I'm definitely <laughs> I'm definitely paying for it now. Um, if it doesn't get better, I started icing it yesterday. Um, my daughter, uh, I think she's the one who told me I should ice it. So I started icing it yesterday. Hold on, guys. I'll be back in a minute. All right. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that. <laughs> so I started icing it yesterday, and it seems to be helping. And after I ice it, I use this ball here that came with my brace. Um, I roll that under my foot, um, because your foot is quite cold and it's hard to walk after having the ice on. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I've been trying to stay off my feet, trying not to do much. I do have to go to the grocery store today. Um, I really don't want to. My daughter's going to go with me. She's like, mom, just get in one of those, um, electric wheel, uh, the electric shopping carts. <laughs> And just sit down. And I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to wrap my foot. I've got my insert in my shoe. I'm just going to hurry up, get what I need, and get out. <laughs> I could send her to get the stuff, but I like buying my own groceries. That's I don't like doing the grocery pickup either. I like picking out my own meat, produce, and stuff like that. Um if I was if I was really ill and couldn't get out, I would have either my daughter or husband pick it up or do the grocery delivery, but I would rather not. I like picking out the stuff myself. So, Miggy, Miggy, you sick of them barking too, Miggy? Yes. You sick of them barking too? Yes. You're going to get right in my face. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Magnum just can't help himself. No, he can't. Um, so yeah, I do have to go grocery shopping today. Oh, I wanted to tell you too that I got Mozzie's new meds and, um, in Dr. Pearson's tech message to me, she said she wanted to increase the Cushing's medication. Well, he was on a 17 milligram and when the new medication came, it said it was 14 milligrams. So I had to text her before I gave that to her and said, I want to make sure this is correct. Um, I said the mycophenolate came decreased like you wanted but the um trilistine for the cushing came decreased as well so i want to double check i'm never gonna get through this video <laughs> one of them ran away so hopefully they'll stop barking so i said i want to make sure did i read the text message wrong do you did you really want to decrease it or did you want to increase it and she said oh my goodness i'm so sorry I want to increase it. I don't know what I was thinking when I told them 14 milligrams. So, um, they, she called it back in for 18 milligrams, which will be one milligram higher than what he was taking. And I'm supposed to get it today. Um, so I can start, well, I already gave him his other one. So he'll have to start taking it tomorrow and then he'll have to go in in two months to get his blood work done. So always check the medications and make sure that it's correct before you start giving it, giving it to your animals because we're all human. We all make mistakes. You smelling my feet, kitty? <laughs> Are they stinky? <laughs> come here, Merlin. You coming to see me too, huh? You coming to see me too? Are those doggies chasing you? Are those doggies chasing you? Hmm? Um, yeah, so always check and double check because, like I said, we're all human. We all make mistakes. So I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I didn't just trust that that was what I was supposed to give him. Um, and if I would have, it would have totally thrown him off and all the progress we made would have been totally ruined. So always check and double check the medications, dosages, and all that um, before giving it to your animals. So you coming up here for protection, Merlin, from Max? Max loves to chase Merlin. Max, why are you chasing Merlin? Get up here. You guys be friends. You guys be friends. You stop chasing him. He's tired of you chasing him. He wants to take a nap. <laughs> All right, guys. Just wanted to do a quick um, check-in video. Um, hopefully, the next time I see you, um, my foot will be much better. And I'll be able to get outside with the dogs and play in the snow and do all that. But I've got to stay off my foot as much as possible and keep icing it because the icing is helping. So, um, 
I was watching some videos where people have had this problem for a year and a half and there's no way I could last <laughs> I could last having this pain for a year and a half. Oh my goodness. My daughter, which my daughter had it. Um, it was the type of shoes she was wearing at work. Um, and she suffered for a month and a half um with the pain. And as soon as she changed her shoes, did the stretches and all that, it's went away and it hasn't come back. I think she was wearing Fila's. Um Fila tennis shoes to work. She's got a, she can wear black tennis shoes, and the Fila's um, were not supportive of her foot, and that's what she believes caused hers. So I don't know what caused mine. It started hurting. I took Magnum for a long walk um, one day. I can't remember what shoes I was wearing, but I remember that next day my foot was killing me. So um, I don't know if the way I was walking. Um, did I twist my foot? I don't know what happened, but I remember it was after that long walk I did with him up through town. Um, that next day, my foot was really bothering me. I think it was even that night. Um, and that's been a couple weeks ago. So this has been bothering me for a while. And then doing all that walking, um, when my niece was here has just, oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to get going. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Look at him. You don't like that kitty being up here? You don't want him up here, Max? Be nice. Be nice to kitty. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. I had to show you guys. The boys always want to get the ball when I'm rolling it under my foot. <laughs> you guys think it's a toy? You want the ball? So you think it's a toy? Sweet. You want to get it? It's kind of pointy. It's kind of pointy. It's not a toy. Oh! It's not a toy, see? It's not a toy. That would hurt you. It's hard. Yes. No, no. <laughs> I got to roll it under my foot. Get my foot back awake after having the ice on it. So I can walk. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys are so funny. You're so funny, Milo. You guys are so funny. <laughs>